Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Civil War. This is episode 6 of our Confederate Let's Play using the JMP mod. If you missed episode 1, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner. Uh, pretty fun series so far, the JMP mod brings a whole new dynamic to the game. Quite difficult, but pretty fun, and uh, a lot of features that I really, really wish were in the base game, and that's kind of, you know why the mod was designed uh, besides the difficulty factor of the game. So this is our army going into the Battle of Shiloh. You can see here we have 20 brigades. I believe I have five artillery brigades. I have three cavalry, so it's two, two melee cav and one skirmishing cav. I did say that I might not use skirmishing cav, but I think I might have changed my mind. I'm not sold on them yet, but we'll, we'll use them try them out also added a 300 man skirmisher unit eventually these guys will get some scoped rifles and they'll have something a lot better than these 1859 carbines and then we just uh went up to 11 infantry brigades you can see i have a mix of one stars no stars it was pretty difficult because i am at an officer deficit right now my barracks looks absolutely horrible i do have a brigadier general in reserve but the rest of it at uh, majors and captains so not good i did have to use a major unfortunately actually i had to use two majors major gross and cut shot i haven't really renamed my units yet um, my imagination's not really working and i kind of kind of want to see how the how the army develops but i did rename my artillery to the artillery pieces that they have i think that really helps me on the battlefield figure out what we're actually using and uh, lets me better deploy them and better hotkey them too so this is the army moving forward we did go ahead and buy the i think it was the harper's ferries our guys are fairly well armed if you want to take a look at our armory i did buy the whitworth so i'm not really sold on the henry repeaters spencer rifles are a different story and then skirmishing guns we bought some of the scoped whitworths and then cavalry we didn't really buy anything artillery i went ahead and bought the blakeleys the howitzers and the parrot guns and i think the rest of the napoleons so we probably won't ever use the rest of these but i've been advised uh, try to hold on to these for as long as possible until you can get your economy points up and then you can sell them for a much better deal. Going over here, we have the Battle of Shiloh. It'll be a hundred and basically seventy-seven thousand dollars, thirteen thousand one hundred men, thirteen reputation, and you can see we actually have money left over, which is really rare for me. I usually spend all my money, but doing a lot better with money in this. And then because we won those battles, minus ten percent enemy weapons quality and minus five percent enemy army size i think their training is a decent spot and uh we get a rather large amount of men in this battle that are allied men you can see here twenty six thousand three hundred seventeen soldiers and 122 guns so this allied army nearly has as many guns as the union have on day one now our goal here win on day one do not go to day two because day two an entirely new army shows up and they're in breastworks, fortifications, and it's absolutely miserable and will absolutely suck. So our army is going to attack at dawn, and then we will be on the left flank. The The allied army will come on on the right flank. That army should be able to absolutely decimate and crush the Union over at the Shiloh Church. What we'll probably do is just distract them. We probably won't push overly aggressive because i don't want to lose a lot of my men i would rather lose more of the allied men even though keeping them alive kind of like nearly doubles the amount of rescued weapons you'd get it's i don't know the exact there but the the better you do with your allied men the more uh rescued weapons you'll get at the end so obviously it's better to lose them than our guys but we're not going to just like throw them away and Get them absolutely killed for no reason. So the Battle of Shiloh, 6th of April, 1862. Major General Ulysses S. Grant has transported his army of the Tennessee to Pittsburgh Landing, located at the west bank of Tennessee River. Grant is expecting Major, Major General Don Carlos Buell to join him tomorrow with the Army of the Ohio. 
Together, they will advance to Corinth, 22 miles southwest, deep into Confederate territory. The Union army is scattered into multiple encampments south of Pittsburgh Landing, unaware that we are going to execute a surprise attack at dawn. Our goal is to defeat and destroy Grant's army before Carlos Buell arrives. You will lead the attack at the Union right flank, and you will be in general command of 2nd Corps of General Bragg and Reserve Corps of General Breckenridge that will assault their left flank. So, pretty cool there. Let's dive right on in. On the battlefield, General Grant has transported his army via the Tennessee River to this location. Pittsburgh Landing is preparing to advance further south. You can see the breastworks there. That is the hardest part of this battle if we get to it. And hopefully we'll defeat as much of the Union army before they can retreat over there. You can see this is a huge map too. We're going to attack them at dawn when they will least expect us. Our corps will arrive from the southwest. Moving back up here, I believe it's going to show Shallow Church. Or where is this? The Yankees are encamped and have most of their forces here. If we attack swiftly, we may catch them completely unguarded and capture their supplies, which um, highly unlikely. There's Shallow Church right there. The, uh, the slight ridge at Shallow Church creates a formidable natural defense and should be seized to secure our left flank. So we'll probably uh, not push extremely hard and then push forward with our allies, kind of like wrap around that way. On the right, we have to overcome this hilly terrain, and then we can safely proceed to the north. They will have some, I believe, some iron sides, or ironclads, sorry, that's what they're called. I think they get two of them. The last Union defense is expected here at Pittsburgh Landing. Watch for enemy gunboats on the Tennessee River that can bombard from long distance. Sir, our army is starting to advance toward the Union camp. And then this is the phase one, and that's Shiloh Church, as we said. Our first objective is to overrun the right flank near Shiloh Church. The Yankees are currently encamped and surely will not expect our presence. If we advance swiftly, we're going to have an easy job pushing them north. And swift is not really what you want to do in this battle. You kind of want to be a little bit more, more methodical and not outpace your army and overextend yourself. You have the advantage, move fast and destroy them. So we can deploy 10 brigades to start, then we'll get the rest of our core moving in. I'm going to mess around with this. We'll probably have both our melee cabs starting. And then our three inch ordnance on the battlefield and then the rest will be our more green infantry and we'll have a skirmish screen running out move our three inch ordnance up the reason is because they don't have the horse artillery perks so they're a lot slower and then the cavalry will eat all of the enemy skirmishers because there's probably a bunch of skirmishers out here and i find union skirmishers to be really annoying i personally prefer taking them out with my melee cav might not be the best kill to death ratio, but I think it really helps me personally in the long run. All right, guys, here we are moving out. As I said, I'd have the two cavalry, our three inch ordinances, and then a bunch of infantry with their skirmishers moving out. We've already found some skirmishers, so there we, there we go. I do turn the skirmishers off of skirmish mode because I personally don't like it. So it looks like these skirmishers have have duplicated. I need, actually, I need you guys to go take on him. You go take on him. And you guys continue moving up over there. We can see there are some enemy skirmishers out there. Continue pushing up over here. And then we'll just move in with our cav and try, try and do our best so I think I think we can get the I think we can get the charge off real quick on them. Keep keep moving up with this infantry. Kind of stop the oh uh, there's more skirmishers, crap. Oh, that was a huge volley. 18, 18 deaths already on those guys. Let's see if we can, can get into them. That's not what I wanted. I didn't want even more skirmishers over there. So hopefully hopefully they can clean things up a little bit better. These skirmishers felt like they were uh, skirmishing as a <laughs> it's like really, really dumb statement on my part. Oh, no, 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 don't don't let those skirmishers shoot the shoot the calf. OK, that's a little bit better. What I meant by it seems like these skirmishers were skirmishing as in um, doing the like move forward, move back thing that skirmishers do and I I don't actually see the use of it maybe maybe somebody a little bit more 
intelligent than I in this game knows what the use is. 61 deaths on them already. That was unfortunate that there was another skirmisher brigade there. That was a little aggressive on my part, and we we definitely paid the price there. But if we can if we can get these guys up, I would love to to hit those skirmishers. Can we just make sure we cover the flank over there? Keep moving up with these guys. Keep moving up. Keep moving up. And then hopefully... Yes! They did not shoot the cavalry, which is perfect. They might get a, a volley off. Hopefully we can get into melee before they do. There we go. I find this personally worth it on my end. I know I've lost some cavalry, but just taking out those obnoxious skirmishers really on, I feel like saves a lot of ammunition, saves a lot of pain and suffering and time on my part. So I, I could be very wrong, but that's... I, I very much like taking those guys out. So uh, give me your opinion. I, I know there's people that definitely disagree with that. They would rather keep their keep their guys nice and safe, and I, I completely understand that philosophy. But I don't know. I I feel like we save more guys by taking them out early. So I'm just pushing up at the moment. We'll probably do a little fast forwarding here. Um, because it might be a little bit boring. We're not going to push up really far. Although those skirmishers are engaging over here. I, I want the rest of my army to move up. Uh, which is not this part of the army, but the, the other parts. So, doesn't look like the enemy is actually shooting back. Which I'm fine with. Clearly, it's always nice when you shoot them and they don't shoot back. I feel like that might be a bug. Second wave arrives. Perfect. Um, so you guys will move. Wow, that's a little fast for my liking. Let's have you guys move out onto this flank over here. And then you guys are going to be group number two. And you need to go more like so. And then they'll move up to there. And then you guys... A little bit more in the center. I actually need Marshall to be to back you guys up, and then let's have you guys move forward just a little. Not not a crazy amount, but would like you to... would like the ordnance guns moving up. That is for sure. And then this cavalry, I'm not really sure what to do with them at the moment. I feel like they've kind of done their job for the time being until we until the rest of the battle opens up. That's sort of my, my thought process there. Where's my other skirmisher unit? There they are. I want you guys out over here. And then now let's speed things back up. Let's get Quicksilver over here because this will probably be the biggest push. There's a bunch of movement over there, but I think that is going to be fine. Okay, their guys are starting to shoot. We could probably retreat these guys just a little. I don't want anything crazy to happen. Oh, they're in range to shoot. That's interesting. And then how close is our horse artillery? Perfect. I was I was really hoping our our horse artillery would be fast enough and that's why I brought that's why I brought the three inch guns on first. But no 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 do not do not do that. Okay, I need to be careful about that. Oh gosh, okay. Oh, and I'm on super fast forward mode. Uh, is that gonna cause me to route immediately? We're routing immediately. Crap! That's not what I wanted. Man. Okay. Punished. Punished right there for not really paying attention properly. That was... that really sucked. 
Okay, so Archer, we'll, we'll pull Archer back. Thankfully, Archer didn't take too many casualties. I mean, that's still probably too many for my liking, but it could have been, it could have been worse. Yeah, the enemy very, very charge happy. That like, I don't, I don't like that logic <laughs> in the, in the AI's charging. I get it for difficulty, just not. I'm not the biggest fan of it, as you guys know. That's fine. I don't have to be the biggest fan of everything in a game. It doesn't doesn't mean it's not a good decision. It just means that I personally am not good with it. All right, so they're moving up. Can you guys? run. You guys are moving way too slow for me. Um, let's have you guys over here in case the enemy does any more counter charging. Is that all of my guys moved up? Let's move the three inch guns up a little bit too. Um, let's see. I feel like I'm missing a three inch gun. Uh, because it's right there. That's, that's fine. All right, Archer. You guys get, get your morale back up. And then did they completely give up the river? That's... We'll, we'll use the word interesting again. I use the word interesting a lot because it that's kind of the best descriptor to be honest. Hmm. It shows that they have no line of sight to these guys yet they're shooting at them. I guess now Jackson they have line of sight to. So let's uh... Let's push... You guys up to there, why do you have to do that? That's what it's it is what it is at this point. You guys push up over here. Bring you guys up. And then three over here. Keep pulling up over here. And then this artillery can continue to move up closer. And then group one can take their spot. It's a little bit better. And then it's... Okay, those skirmishers are routing. Let's have prior skirmishers move back a little. You guys move up. As I said, this is more of a distractionary force. Okay, those skirmishers got a little... little rocked. I do want these, I do want this cavalry up just in case. And then where's prior skirmishers? You guys go around here. Okay, these skirmishers are nearly, nearly gone, the wavering. Okay, let's bring Archer up to, to, to this position. And then the three inch guns can probably, Get there. And these guys feel like if I shift them just a tiny, tiny bit forward, they'll have a shot. These guys feel like they're they're in a bad position, so let's move them over here. And then prior skirmishers can move up. You guys can move up. That looks all good. I like that a lot. And as I said, the cavalry sort of in support. And we're not really going to push too much further from this position. This is kind of, kind of where we want to be. Uh, Quicksilver, we really need him to level up. Those skirmishers are, they're wavering. I don't like how low they're getting, so we're, we're going to move them back and get them to their parent unit. That looks fine. Once again, keep our keep our cavalry behind just in case. Like that that group there, <laughs> you know, gets a little a little crazy. I would like you guys to move up just a tad bit more. Probably a waste of moving. Okay, you guys need to move up just a little bit more. I think that'll put you in range. Move you guys up just a little bit more. And that seems to be pretty good. We could probably move Archer to there. That might be a good spot. Yeah, that gets more firepower going into them. 
which is perfect. More troops of McClernand's division. McClernand's division. I'm not familiar with him as a general. Okay, you guys did good there. Would love to take that tree line. So, like, for me, um, I don't know about this, this open ground across the river. Sounds absolutely terrible. But taking out all of this seems good. Where's, um, where are you guys? You guys need to reattach to your parent unit. Marshall has taken more casualties than I would like. We might replace him with Archer soon. Uh, those guys are routing. Those guys are wavering. I mean, they're not routing yet. Need them to actually route. Brigades of McLernan's division have been warned of our presence. Okay, we already knew about him. So let's keep, keep on attacking here. And we push them off. Okay. I feel like you guys could do with a little bit of a break. Even though you're still fresh. We can have our artillery do some counter battery fire. You guys could move up to this position here. You guys could move up over here and then the cavalry make sure you guys are still still in position to help out. I'm not sure if there's anything we could possibly do on this flank. I don't really want to move up these guys because as I said the river crossing plus the open ground fortified positions it's not a good place to be. Can you guys maybe move up just a tad? I feel like having some skirmishers over here would be fine. Might be a risk. Might be too big too big of a risk, but give us a little vision over there. Are you guys shooting there? Can you shoot there? Looks like you can. If I cross the river now, that just looks dangerous. There's plenty of fresh brigades. Looks like a duplication. Looks like a few duplicate brigades, so not not good. Uh, looks like those guys are in a fine position over there. Nice to get some flanking fire over there. Really like to see that. And then we'll just uh, kind of duke it out. Let's, let's speed things up a little, see if we can get to the main action on the other side. Because as, as I said, this is more of a distraction than actually trying to push onto Shiloh itself. Okay, so skirmishers not doing the best. I mean, they're just wavering, so it's not terrible. But these guys move up a little bit more. Would that get them in range of the enemy? I don't think so. Put some in range of their artillery, which is unfortunate. Okay, Marshall, maybe Marshall moves over here. And maybe we can... Oh, we've lost a lot of guys in that six-pounder. Thankfully, it's just the six-pounder. But that is... More casualties than I'd like. They're down to seven guns. They started at eight. See if those guns can kind of move into a little bit better of a firing position. We'll just move Marshall here. I think that might be a better position for him to start shooting. These guys are back to Eager, so we'll move them back up, see if they can shoot it out. Go back, fast forward a little bit. 15 minutes until the next phase opens up, which is... As far as I've seen a simultaneous, we'll look at the time, it says 8.46. Maybe it's not simultaneous, but I mean, it's literally right over here when you think about the, the battle map, basically. These guys taking a decent amount of casualties. I might pull them back again. They're wavering already. Just need this phase to kind of kind of end. Let's speed things back up. I'm going back and forth on speeding things up because I'm a little... I am a little terrified of 
going too fast and then please don't go and run and show your flank like that's already stupid how you did that but yeah i'm a little bit terrified of the enemy just kind of like hardcore charging and then this should be the next flank okay attack the union right on the right flank, our last corps are now arriving to attack the Union center and left flank. So they're left, our right. And then it's not too bad of a map. We get some massive units on this. General, our attack has alerted the enemy to our presence. We must act swiftly. The Federals are building a defensive line and will soon occupy a very strong position. Which, uh, it's not that strong. The center of the Union army is currently controlled from this location. Push forward and take it. And then later on, there's Hornet's Nest further along. Their left flank must also be secured. It should be lightly defended as our pickets reported. Which, you know, not an important... An another thing to note, always check your objectives. The only objective is Pittsburgh Landing. Advance and watch your flanks, General. The Union Army may counterattack from behind those woods. Which, eh, that's whatever. Okay, so one of our artillery duplicated, which is ridiculous. And then we'll have more units coming on. Hopefully I didn't just suddenly get hiccups. If I do, I will have to pause the video until my hiccups go away because you guys don't need to hear that nonsense from me. Um, I think they're under control though. I am human after all, but uh, it's like, great. I'm trying to record and uh, my body's like, nah, you can, you can have a diaphragm issue. All right, it's a lot of, as I said, these are huge units of oh, Chalmers. Oh, and we had a bunch of duplicates here. That's, that's big. I mean, it also makes the size of the unit smaller, which, mm, I mean, that's, that is a negative. These guys, we probably won't do anything with in terms of detaching skirmishers. Let's, uh, let's move you guys around this way. Let's have you guys move up into the trees over there. Have you guys move up over here. And then let's grab... So let's have you three like that. You three, you two. I can count, maybe. Alright, something out there. You guys got flanked. Kind of a mess at the moment. But there is a theoretical method to my madness. I would like the artillery to actually move up uh, over here. You can see Union or Federal troops moving over there. And then, I mean, there's more guys to come onto the battlefield. I, I didn't show you, like, what all is in this army, but it is pretty, pretty massive, to be honest. Uh, that's continue moving forward. Let's have all of you shoot over there. You guys are doing a good job with that. Um, I thought I had... That's where are you guys going? Some, somewhere like that. And then you guys going out onto this flank. And then this cavalry will go out over there. Hopefully they don't, you know, encounter anything terrible on that flank. Like, being flanked by enemy units, terrible, terrible spotting and scouting. Hey, it's Cav! Alright, we need to... Oh, that's something I forgot to do, is turn all the skirmishers off of their skirmish mode. I absolutely hate that. And then the artillery, I would like them to fire when they get closer. I have four... What did I just grab? Oh, it's the skirmishers. Nope, 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 nope. Not what I meant to do. Just keep moving forward. Have the skirmishers move forward. See what's going on over here. Let's have these skirmishers move up like so. You move in behind. And then we just need you guys to get into tree cover. And then you guys can roll out on that flank. And see if you can take on those skirmishers. Yeah, hit, hit those skirmishers. Okay. 
actually want to really crush this flank. So if you guys can move out even further, let's have these skirmishers move up even further. And then actually want this to be more like so. And then you guys, I need to make a control group for you. It's going to be six for the time being. Can you guys charge into them? That would be great. We shouldn't have to worry about too much of the enemy reacting to that, and we can get behind them, and that'll be devastating. Alright, keep moving up, and then you guys move up more like, more like so, and then you guys just protect their flank. And now they're being rear flanked, which is perfect because they don't know what to do, and we have more guys coming onto the battlefield, which is perfect. Just keep them moving. Yeah, our, our cavalry is now on their flank, which is just... I mean, that's money. We'll probably charge into them really soon. And then get these guys moving on up. We need to keep up the pressure. Where is Bragg? Bragg needs to be over here. Supplies need to be over here. And group six needs to move up. Why are you guys retreating? Okay, eager routing. Shoot them. Can you guys charge into them? And can you guys charge into them? I don't know if they'll make it into melee with them. Yeah, it looks like it broken. We can... Okay, they shattered. Not exactly what I want, but it kind of works. Where are you guys? Come on, move up. Move up. We need everybody moving up. And then over here... Oh, that is... That is awful. That's terrible positioning of the artillery. That is a lot of duplications of the artillery, though. And then let's get Breckenridge over here. Let's get you guys to move up. And then we will do a charge. Let's charge in. Charge in. And then these guys can probably come in from behind. They're routing. They're broken. And they surrendered. So perfect. Alright. Let's move these guys forward. Get you guys forward, and then these guys need to retreat off the battlefield. Are these guys, like, running? Wow, they have... They must have a speed perk. You guys will be group 7. That is a lot of duplicated artillery. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep pushing up. Uh, what am I? Group 6. Perfect. Okay. Keep pushing up. Bragg has a large zone, or a large aura. Okay, you guys get out of there. We don't need you guys to shatter. Would be cool if you guys pushed across over here. Like so. I don't know about this artillery. <laughs> artillery. Cavalry. Okay, where are you guys? You guys are the next line, so we'll do something like that. And then is that everybody moving on to the battlefield correctly? Okay, you guys regroup and then keep pushing up. We have 28 minutes on this flank, I think. No. Okay, just, just move forward. I need to remember, Panda Crap told me, just move forward. That's just the better way of doing things. What is over here? You go attack those skirmishers. There's a bunch of skirmishers over there. We could probably use our skirmishing calf to push them push them out of the way. Group 6, move up please. Brag, keep up with your troops. Breckenridge, you're in an okay position. I need you guys to spot whatever was over here, and if it's just skirmishers... I think I want you to charge. Come on, where's the line of sight? 
What the heck? Okay, there we go. Alright, these guys are all warmed up. Let's push them forward like so. And then continue, continue moving up. So our guys are getting a little, little tired, I think, moving up. Group 7, do something like that. They're going to take forever. I might hold now. I wish I knew how, where exactly Shiloh Church was. Okay, let's, uh, let's actually move up a little there. And then you guys, where was it, can move up more like over here. And then let's see where this artillery is. Breckenridge, keep moving up. You guys keep moving up. And then need your skirmishers over here. Can we detach skirmishers from you? You and you? That would be fantastic. Get some skirmishers out on this flank. That would be... That would be fantastic. Where's a... No, group six. You're not in a good position. Brag. And then the supply wagon. Get up there. Okay, you guys have... Oh, man. What are those? Those must be big, big pieces of artillery because they are moving slow. Alright, just get everybody... The enemy's kind of pinned in a corner, which is unfortunate because the map is bigger, so really they should be able to retreat further. You know, that's how the that's how the game works, and uh, we didn't create the game, so that's where we just play by the rules of the game. Alright, brag, your aura is massive. I've already said that, but I'm kind of like still, still sort of blown away by how large it is. And that's not a euphemism. Okay, Shiloh Church is at risk. Uh, it's not really. Oh god, hopefully that cav is not in the battle on this side. Because that is a very weird position. The Union's resistance is stronger than expected. Their troops are preparing for a counterattack. We must hold Shiloh Church to keep their right flank under pressure. Don't fail us, General, or we will have to withdraw. But yeah, we just need to distract them. Oh god, they are there. Um, I mean, that's, that's good and bad. Like, I think they will just disappear. Can you guys... Uh, why can't you reattach? This is weird. Alright, that was, um... Like, cheesy, but... You know, like, good at the same time. I feel like my skirmishers are probably all on... It's weird that it changes the settings of them. So let's uh, get that off. Okay, that's good though. Okay, they're wavering. It's kind of just the same. I don't really... Like, I, I don't think there's any downside to not taking Shiloh Church. And as I said, I don't really want to waste my troops. And with how well we're doing on the right flank, there's really no reason to overextend yourself. Like, we could, in a moment move up. We might actually do that. Um, can you guys reattach yet? Okay. Attach. We might move up to this tree line. That is a possibility, and I kind of like that idea. But I don't want to do anything stupid, so let's get those troops into position. Let's get these guys more like yeah, you're gonna do that. Okay, whatever. We have skirmishers over here to not really do anything, to be honest. Um, those guys are heroic. Okay, group one. Group one is my yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys shoot. Wait, wait, wait. Who is group one? Right, your group one? Shoot there. Group two, group three, group four. Okay. There's something weird about group one right there, but that's that's fine. Okay. I think we could let's do something like this. Oh man, I don't know. It feels so risky. Uh, 
Oh, and they just moved more forces up. Uh, what is Pryor doing? What is... No, 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 no. Something is... Okay, sorry guys, there there was there's some weird thing that was going on with how I was selecting units and then it was changing. Unfortunately, I just lost James Archer, which is absolutely horrible. He's like my last good commander. He's wavering already. Um, yeah, there's there was something wrong about like the group keybinds moving between moving between the the phases. So we are just going to try and... Oh my god. We're just losing everybody now. Okay. That's, uh... <laughs> That's really, really rough. Okay. Come on, guys. Get into position. Yeah, this is probably a terrible mistake on my part. So let's, uh... Let's look at who... Oh man, that, that doesn't look good. Alright, let's get all of you across too, and let's move you guys over here and see if this flank can can help out a little bit. That's stupid. I don't know what you guys are doing over there. Can you guys... No, you're a little too stuck. Come on, guys. Move into position. How far can you guys shoot? Decently far? Can I move like one of one of you at a time? I need you guys to target there. Alright, this is looking better. Steady, heroic. We need Quicksilver for his command bubble. You guys need to move up a little. Uh, we're going to take some... no. Okay. I don't want you guys that far back. Come on. That might be better. That that actually worked on weirdly enough on that flank. Okay. That gun made it up, basically. Can you guys move up over here? I'm very worried there's some heroic units in there. We are doing pretty well though, that was a little voice break, huh. It's like I'm 13 again or something. Okay, can we, can we have you guys move up onto this flank? Get these skirmishers up. Okay, can we move the 12 pound howitzer up just a little? That would be the next great move. Pay attention to who's moving where. Can you guys hit that? Because they're heroic. Alright, this is too many casualties for my liking, but I think it's... I think that it was just a good opportunity. It's a shame that I had some errors with, like, how my guys were moving. And I unfortunately had to pause there, and it was, it was very frustrating. That was... There was something wrong with the keybinds there, for sure. Alright, you can now move up. Yeah, I think moving one gun up at a time... ...might be the way to go. They're wavering. Let's continue shooting them because they're firing some canister at us. They're routing now, perfect. Alright, this is... this is going a lot better than I thought. I mean, losing James Archer, another huge blow. And then we lost, like, a major gross or whatever. Yankees are dug in at Hornet's Nest. Okay. So we're moving on from this section here. It should go back to the other side and just that side, except it's expanded to Hornet's Nest. Get back over here. The blue coats are establishing... Oh, that's not good that Jenkins is that far forward. He might get shot to death. So that's really bad. Uh, the blue coats are establishing a second barrier of defense. They are desperate to hold their position. Surround them and give them hell. We're probably going to have to pause immediately and give some orders. You must overrun the Union defenses in order to secure our path to Pittsburgh landing. And then hit next. And then I'm like, my hand is on P. <laughs> General, if you fail, our whole offensive will become disorganized and collapse. We're counting on you. Yep. Okay. They teleported in. Get these guys out of here. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
I'm going to give a bunch of orders and then we'll be right back. All right, getting back into the battlefield, uh, I did double check and all of my key pound groups, they, they weren't acting correctly. So I had to re keybind them. There seems to be some sort of bug that when you change like phases, your keybinds get all, not, not your keybinds get messed up, how the keybind group moves gets messed up. It's, it's really a little bit bizarre, but we, uh, we went ahead and fixed it already. And so now we are moving on to Hornet's Nest. And our idea here is to surround them as much as possible and crush their souls. At least that is the plan. We're going to move Jenkins over here. And then group six needs to keep moving forward. And then we're going to get their eager, confident, steady. We're going to charge into that because that should create like a massive chain route. So there's a wavering, routing, routing. So double route there for minimal on our end. I think we shattered one. I would love to capture them, but it doesn't seem like that's truly happening. Okay, there's a capture. So there we go. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Good way to just absolutely crush the enemy there. I was thinking about it. I was like, okay, the enemy charging is very powerful. I was like, well, there's nothing stopping us from charging other than like possibly just not being as good at it. So I uh, I made the executive decision that uh, we need to start charging. Everybody be charging because that's uh, that's how we're doing it. That is how we're doing it. All right, you guys need to not show your flank. So, oh, I just, I did retreat instead of run. Run it, uh, R, okay. That's fine. We will, we'll fix that. I, once again, I'm not entirely sure where Shiloh is in this. Can we not do that? Can we, can we just move forward like normal human beings? Where's, uh, where's Bragg? Bragg has, I keep talking about this, he's big. He's got the, the big juju. Okay, these guys need to push more on this flank. And then maybe, maybe we could do something like move you up over here and then have these, oh, they're wavering. That's not good. Where's, where's Breckenridge? Move up over here. We need to continue, continue moving up, 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 up we go. And then continue moving up over here. These guys will probably go to the to the Shiloh Church flank. Brag, Breckenridge, keep your guys from from doing their thing. I probably need to slow down my movement. Yeah. Okay. So Jackson has kind of he's he's not liking what's going on. And what I'll probably do here is move you guys up into that position. And then you guys can just kind of go there. You guys can move over onto that flank. And then you guys could pull back. And then we need to consolidate our forces. That is a problem at the moment. We are outpacing our, our cannons. And I was warned of this problem. And I need to make sure we have plenty of time to take Sorna's Nest. So there's no reason to, like, completely outpace our, outpace our cannons. So let's just continue pulling, pushing forward over here. We have a bunch of skirmishers. Can you guys pull down the line? You guys could move over here. Uh, I think our artillery's moving a little too close. Let's, let's move up just a tad and see if we can... Once our artillery is in position, we will really be be hammering away at the enemy. It looks like we're doing a pretty good job of getting into that flank. As I said, I'm a little worried when the map rolls up. I need to be careful. Rear flanked. What are you guys doing? Face the right way! <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. All right, you guys probably 
probably need to do something like that and like that. You guys can go rejoin your parent unit. Go find your parents. Very important. And then keep on, keep on shooting. Alright, there's a lot of wavering. Those guys are heroic. Can we, can we hit the heroic group? Uh, Freddy Whitling is wounded, okay. I don't think we care too much about that. Unfortunate to say Freddy, but just, uh, fact of life. Okay, we do have some more wavering. Where is, um, where's Breckenridge? Well, I guess he's in Bragg, so Breckenridge probably needs to go down this line a little bit. Move up over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I feel like we could probably mass charge in. It would do significant damage. I feel like we could move you guys up. You guys could take their position. You guys could kind of retreat into a supporting role. And then do something like that. Yeah, they are... they're getting smashed. If we could get a charge off, that would be amazing. I don't know if it'll happen, though. Okay, Breckenridge, stay with your troops. Could this big beefy unit move forward? Big beefy unit. It's a very, very big, amazing descriptor. Please don't crisscross. Perfect. Can we... can we move up a little bit more? That'd be great. Where's our supplies? Over here. Uh, Bragg, keep up with the troops. Breckenridge, you're doing a fine job keeping your troops around. And then you guys get behind over here. There. You guys will be- what are you- like, just move forward, please. Why- why do all the weird maneuvering when literally all you're doing is moving forward? Just, like, don't show your butt to the enemy. They will take advantage of your rear. Sounds absolutely terrible. Okay, can we... they're down to Eager. Man. They just took a absolute eating, but... We can... we can continue moving forward. Do something like that. You guys move up. That's just that is a lot of canister. A lot of canister. Okay, we need we need our guns to to get into position. Some of our guns incredibly slow. They're steady, eager, heroic. We do have some heroic guys. Could you charge into them? Would that work? Could we get something going on, like a mass route? Because that would be pretty cool. Okay, they're steady. Okay, let's get them out of there. They're not wavering. I'm fine with that. They're routing now. Eh, you know, I, I'm okay with that. They did... they did their job. Now they just need to properly get out of there, which they're refusing to do, so... That's... that's a different story. Okay, need you guys to move up over here. Keep moving up. Come on, guys, get out of there. I, I really want them to get out of there. There we go. It is a little bit of a mess. Okay, where are you guys going? Please don't rotate in a stupid way. Okay, perfect. No, no stupidity noticed. Artillery really hasn't been able to keep pace 
Um, I think I need to slow down a little though. At least in the center. And move like the flanks a little bit more. And then let's move the artillery up a little bit more. And then... I don't know what on earth you guys are doing over here. Alright, can you guys move up? Can you guys... I don't know, do something? You guys go attack all of that. Okay, nothing... You guys are... you guys are being stupid. Uh, advanced to Pittsburgh Landing. Didn't want that to happen yet. I thought I had a lot of time. Alright, so they should be on kind of like an all-out retreat, and I think the map opens up at this point. So General Grant is establishing his last line of defense at Pittsburgh Landing. Don't hesitate. Attack and victory will be ours. And then there should be the Ironclads over there. Yeah, so the Ironclads, USS Tyler and USS Lexington have been spotted off the banks of Pittsburgh Landing and present a threat to our right flank as advised not to get too close to them, so we'll put skirmishers over there. Big map, so we need to pause, and I need to give out orders. Uh, okay, so we are behind them. That is good. We need to probably shift some men. We'll probably... Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, I think I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to pause for one. And we're going to rethink how how this battle is going to go. Hey guys, unpausing the battle, and it's going to be a mess. I did a lot of orders, and I had to reconfigure the keybinds once again. Uh, for whatever reason, in this, anytime you change phases, your keybinds just absolutely go haywire, and they they don't like work very well. Okay, you guys need to go more like that. Um, we are trying to tighten the noose over here. We do have to be careful, um, and then we are moving troops out over here, and then that's good. Looks like they've kind of made it, and then we have to be careful over there. So, uh, I am going to try and get... Uh, I did that wrong. Let's get the those guys there. I am, I'm going to see if I can get through that gap and maybe take out a few of their men. Um, we are repositioning our forces over here. And then we will need to maybe push forward just a little. You guys can push forward. You guys should be able to fit into that gap now. And there should be a lot of damage going out onto the enemy over here at Hornet's Nest. And as I said, I don't necessarily care about these men as much. I do want to try and keep them somewhat alive, but it's not its not like the number one priority over something like here, where these guys are very, very important in uh, trying to keep our flank going. So, looks like everything over here is doing well. Uh, hopefully, where's our supplies? Looks like we need some ammo over there. And then I don't know. Oh, we could we could move our we could move like these guys up over here. Those guys are heroic. We're confident. I'm not a hundred percent how I feel about that. But let's uh, let's get those guys over here. And then we only have one general over here. That's fine. I would like you guys to keep pushing up because the more we can push up over here the better. These guys are absolutely exhausted, but I think we are absolutely dominating them over there. This is not going well. Oh, I just realized there's... I, I have some issues. Uh, oh, no, no. The skirmishers are s still not in skirmish mode, so that's good. You guys need a dismount. And then probably move these guys over here. You guys need to attack over there. You guys need to move up. And then we probably need to be aggressive with our... Or more aggressive with our cab. I'm not... I don't know if I necessarily feel good about that idea. And then we... <laughs> this, this flank over here is not going to be pretty. Move Breckenridge up. Move these supplies up. Grab these guys get them moving up. Where's Bragg? Where is Bragg? I, I keep losing sight of Bragg. 
Okay, he's got to be like right in front of my face and I just can't see it. Ah, Brigadier General Jackson. Man, we are taking major casualties over here, which is really unfortunate because the enemy, there's not much left of the enemy. Like we are, we are kind of decimating this flank and it's just not going well. Where is Bragg? Second Corps, Bragg. Why is he all the way back there? Nobody knows. Um, move up artillery, group six, Breckenridge, keep moving up. You guys are very tired. I know, unfortunate. Uh, no, why do you guys turn like that? Why, 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 why? Okay, you guys go back to your parent unit, parent unit. All of that's looking good. Sorry if I'm zooming around on the, a lot on the battlefield right now. I don't get why Benjamin decided he had to move all the way up over there. Is there a way for us to shoot a gap? I don't know. They're wavering. Okay, remount. Can you guys go hit them? If we can get them to route, that will be great. I do want to pull back as soon. Yep, yep. I I think they broke. Anderson can take the... Oh, no. Okay, of course. Anderson did not take the volley. We'll move you guys up. And then I think we have mostly taken, taken Shiloh. Or Shiloh Church, that is. Okay, over on this flank, we have 2 hours and 18 minutes, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Group 3, move over here. How are we doing over here? Breckenridge is doing fine. Really need to continue leapfrogging with some of these units. Could we charge into them? I don't know. I don't like that. Can you guys hit them? Can you guys go after them? Charge into them? And I don't necessarily like what I am doing over here. Let's continue moving you guys up. Breckenridge. Keep doing that. And then what's it looking like over here? Alright, I hate doing this, but I, I feel like I need to do a pause because I need to move my forces up and there's just no way at the moment for me to properly do that without kind of losing, losing too many men. Um, so let me just get guys into position. And there's going to be a quick pause in the video right here, and I'm going to give a bunch of orders. Alright guys, large pa pause, large movement of troops here. Uh, we are charging this wavering unit over there. They got rear flanked somehow, probably some skirmishers over there. And let's see if we can clean up a Bruce. Uh, one of our units is routing, but they are broken. And I am I'm fine with that exchange, and we got them to retreat. So, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see if we can continue moving on up. We do have a bunch of guys moving up over here too. We are moving all the guys at Shiloh Church forward. I need... Where is Stuart? Stuart, you are... You are going to be needed somewhere over here. And we're just going to continue pushing on forward. That is the plan at the moment. And those ironclads are going to really really hurt us. We need to completely wipe out their artillery. That's going to be a lot easier said than done. And we're going to need all of these guys in proper position. And then, let's see, other units that are... Uh, let's see, you guys are all moving forward. Is it Gladden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you guys will move up over here. And then, come on, keep moving up. 
keep moving up. We need Brag, you're up. You need to get into the fray. Supplies. I need to... Okay, you guys are doing fine. I need you guys to actually hit all of that. They're wavering. Can we charge into them? And can you guys get back on your high horse? John Bowen. Hopefully that's not one of ours. Okay, move on up. You guys need to move up. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Quicksilver, you're needed in the fray. Over here. It's going to be it's going to be rough. Okay, what is a uh, group? What I have them as group five. I need you all to be more like so. I'd like you guys to hit there. And if we can... Okay, they're routing. Perfect. Okay, they're wavering. Can we hit them in the flank since they're wavering? That's... that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Need you guys to take out Cav. Perfect. Go over here. I need you guys to take that supply wagon. You guys can now look that way. Perfect. Need you guys to move up over here. You guys move up over here. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, you guys need to move up over here. Supplies are ours. And those guys are gone. Okay. That was really good. Let's bring our cab back. Uh, what did I just do? Four... Three, four. Nope, that's the wrong. You guys are group four. As I said, like every time I seem to pause the game or whatever, I need to redo the keybinds. Not pause the game, but um, do any. I did make a save, and that seemed to really mess up all of all of that. All right, so we need to somehow take on this mess, and I think we just need to really push on the flank. That's not not exactly my ideal situation, but it's probably what needs to happen. So you guys, do we have another uh, allied unit? I don't think so. Okay, you guys are all tired. Alright, that's just... no, no, no. Let's just move forward. S group, is it group 5? Where are we moving to? Move up to there. Oh, good god. Okay, just, uh, no. I can't even just do, like, a basic move forward. Okay, can you guys just move forward, just move forward, just move forward, and just move forward? I think I fixed it. I don't know. Okay, you guys need to also be in a supporting position. And then we need all of you to also be in a supporting position. And then get you guys on that flank. There is... this, uh, this battle has gotten a little crazy. That is probably the understatement of the year. I would like maybe more more along these lines. And then we could have like you guys support behind. You guys could move all the way out onto that flank. Where's Quicksilver? You're needed for morale. Keep this supply wagon nearby. Keep you guys nearby. And is that everybody moving forward? Who is this? Oh, are they... Okay, that's fine. That's a retreating unit that we captured. Okay, they're routing. We need ammo over there. Where's Stuart? Stuart, you're badly needed. People need ammo. We can't win the war if we don't have ammo. Okay, they're routing. Uh, let's just move you guys into that position. We have until 1900, so three hours. Not a lot of time. Man, 
And where did they get all these men from? Did they have all these guys from the beginning? We don't have proper reconnaissance, which is unfortunate too. Alright, let's see. See what we can do here, guys. Okay, keep moving up, Jackson. Move this gun up. This gun up. And then I don't know where our guns are. I think they are all right over here. We are trying our best to move move them up. And then our three inch guns move up over here. So let's continue pushing forces forward. They're like kind of on breastworks, kind of not. These guys are... Alright, get out of there. You're, you're going to need to... Yeah, relinquish your position, Jackson. Move up over here. Can we get this in three hours? That is... That is the question. Can you guys move forward? Can you guys move forward? Okay, let's just slowly... Slowly ease forward. And you guys can take their position. You guys can take their position. I'm a little nervous about putting any of our troops forward, but... I mean, we we can't go to day two. That's just the, the end-all be-all of this, is we cannot go to day two. Day two is way too difficult. Okay, let's get... Let's pull you back a little. Let's pull... Walton. Okay, all the artillery that can hit that. Oh no, there's our... Uh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's fine. The, they'll break. Uh, I mean, it's not fine, but steady. Okay, hit them now. Come on, hold, 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 hold. Hold. Hit them. Okay, I need you guys to be group seven. You guys probably need to be like group six. Okay, that's kind of working. I think we, I think we held. Shoot those guys. That was a little, little scary, but I think it actually works in our favor. Okay, can we can we get you guys to move forward? Gladden? I don't think Gladden is one of ours. Okay, let's move Barnes over there. Let's have you guys rejoin, you guys rejoin. Move you over here. And I don't know. I mean. Where's Bragg? Hubbard, wounded. Yeah, we're going to probably start taking a lot of casualties. But oh, we we hold Pittsburgh Landing. That's weird. Okay, everybody, target that. We need to crush them. Confident, eager. Come on, break them, break them, break them, break them. Break them! Come on! They're steady. We're wavering. We're routing. Ah, oh, the chain route. Oh my god. I am. Ugh. The chain route's a little brutal. Okay, everybody hit that. Except for you guys. You guys continue hitting that. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop him, stop him, stop him. Okay. Ouch! 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 There is... There is a lot going on there. Ah, oh, man. This is going to be a... Very, very difficult fight. Okay, you guys can move up. Which is perfect. Can you guys then... Get in line behind them. Quicksilver, move up. 
Um, what is this? Group 2? Can your artillery move up? Can this artillery piece move up? How are those guys not gone? I'd like to move my cavalry over there, but uh, it's just a little, little too hectic for my liking. Let's try and move some of these artillery pieces up. Okay, we secured Pittsburgh landing again, so we might... Yeah, they're going to charge again. Where's the charge coming from? I cannot see a charge. Is Jackson ours? I don't think so. Gross is ours. Let's get... Let's get him out of there. Let's move Statham up. Um, he can probably punch somebody in the face. He does that a lot in movies. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Everybody shoot that. They came out of nowhere. Come on, come on. Shoot, 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 shoot. They're wavering. Perfect. Oh, that artillery is nearly gone. Holy cow. We need more forces over here. That's not good. Okay, they're wavering now. Yeah, we just had one of that artillery shatter. Those ironclads are doing doing a number to us. All right, keep pushing up over here. Sorry if uh, it sounds like I am dying. I've been talking for so long, it feels like. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, don't chain route us. Please don't chain route us. Routing, routing, chain route. Oh, man. This is, this is a big sloppy mess over here. Gladden. Let's get Kemper. These are our guys, so I'm not, I don't like that 100%, but... You know, we have to do what we have to do. Alright, can group two get over there? This is a mess over here. Gladden's retreating. I don't really want Marshall in there. Pond is... Pond is, uh... Not ours. Gibson, 2nd Corps, you're not ours. Jackson, you're not ours. So Martin, Marshall, Kemper, I want you guys to be like the second line. And I want Gibson and Jackson to move up over here. I don't know what just happened. Confederate secured Pittsburgh landing. Okay. This feels like it's just going to go back and forth, back and forth. And I can't see the enemy. I, I've said this multiple times. This is one of one of the issues with this game every once in a while, or just all Yugar game or Ultimate General games, is it's like I can't see where the enemy is. Come on, break them, steady, wavering. Just don't route on our end. Come on, keep going, keep going. I mean, I feel like we're doing well. I feel like a lot of the casualties are our allies. Our allies have taken a big beating, and I'm trying my best to not have too many of our forces in the front line. It's obviously not 100% possible, but I feel like we're doing a decent job of getting getting these guys up please don't show your flank though and then using our guys as sort of like a secondary secondary line i don't know if this is a good idea over here because of those ironclads but 
It, I mean, it is a little bit of a mess. I feel like that is the understatement of the century right now. We can finish or continue. Uh, let's, let's, let's continue. Let's see if we can do more damage to them. Try, try to get some... I, I feel like all the casualties are... our allies. Can we move up, like, all of this artillery? I bet there's gonna be millions of crisscrosses. That's eh, not that bad. Okay. Alright, one... Where's my... 3-inch artillery? Oh. Well, it just ended. Okay. Victory! Oh, boy. That's a long episode. Alright, we took 12,712 casualties, but uh, Gonzo told me I could hover over this. I'm fine with that. Only 837 killed, 2,259. So, like, nearly 10,000 of those casualties were our allies. That I am, I am very, very, very okay with. All right, so goals, units. Now, we lost Archer, which is big time bad. Um, so kills. Uh, Benjamin's ours. Is one star. The Anderson, not ours. We're looking for guys around 1400, 1600. Gladden, not ours. Kemper. Kemper's up there. Marshall's up there. Uh, okay, so our guys didn't do fantastic, but they were mostly over at Shiloh. And then over here, Gladden deceased. I thought I saw. Wait. I thought Archer was killed. Did I not see that right? No, he he died early at Shiloh, right? Thought he did. Hmm. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the screen's a little wrong. And then goods. Oh, please, please give me a bunch. Okay, captured Mississippi's great. That those are. I mean, I oh no, that those captured numbers suck. Come on. What? Uh, we. I, I guess we only captured 5,181. We didn't capture as many units as I would have liked to because we shattered more units, which is kind of sucks. So unfortunately, our captured numbers aren't where I wanted them to be, but uh, we recovered a lot. Like, we recovered nearly 5,000 Springfields. That's amazing. Cooking Brothers, okay. Reboard Muskets, okay. Uh, that's 13 12-pounder Napoleons. That's huge. That's really big for us. What about other guns? Six pounders are trash. MGs. So, oh, and then 18 12 pounder howitzers. So our recovery was really good. Our captured, nah. Like, I, I still feel like the captured always sucks. The recovery, pretty good, though. I, I feel really good about that. So, whew, there's the Battle of Shiloh. Man, they had a lot of guys at the end there. Do they just get a bunch of reinforcements that sit at Pittsburgh Landing? Um, I know this from the Union point of view, and I feel like you don't get as many reinforcements as they got in that. So I felt really good when I, th I thought I was destroying them at Hornet's Nest. And then you get over here and it's like, where did all of those units come from? But I feel like I feel like that went pretty well. I, I liked a lot of what we did there. So we received the Homeland Defense Cross. Click to continue. Albert Johnson. Oh, God, we need that so bad. And then three. Oh, melee three star? Forest? Ooh. That's huge. That'll really help us. Three... Oh, we get three career points. That's awesome. And then 13 reputation. I thought it was only going to be two career points. And then some additional recruits. And then look at that money pool. Absolutely fantastic. Let's look at our barracks. So we have Jackson and Bowen wounded. Owen and Albert Johnston. Albert Johnston we just got out of there. Um, we have Braxton Bragg, we'll recruit him for sure, Rhodes, Breckenridge, Wilcox, Wayne, Williams for sure, we'll recruit all of those. And then, it's, I don't want to go too far because this episode's pretty long, I understand that. Unfortunately, some of our units didn't hit one star, so that's, that's a big shame. Froble, man, I thought, I thought you did pretty well. No, okay, you did absolutely terrible. So never mind. <laughs> What about you guys? 
Uh, you guys did all right. Um, hmm. I don't know. I might need to disband these guys. Not sure about the uh, skirmisher cav. Although, man, the the allied skirmisher cav I used well. Maybe when they get up to like a thousand men. So we'll keep them around. Oh, a two star on our twelve pound Napoleon. That makes a lot of sense. Those things do good amount of damage. One star on all the artillery. Barnes. Uh, yeah, I didn't really use you well. Our army, unfortunately, I played them a little passive because I really wanted the the allies to do a lot of work, and maybe they were too passive. I thought they would have done enough over at Shiloh Church to to level up some more, but not not quite. Um. Oh, and then I wanted to look. Where's Archer? Yeah, Archer. Archer died. It didn't show it, but Archer died, so that's a huge blow. I mean, like, none of our starting guys are alive outside of Kemper. Kemper dies, it's like, oh god, we just... We... we sucked. Now that's huge, oh... Oh, man. Well, you guys are... Oh, 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 oh. You know what I could do? I could make these guys the skirmishing cab. Because they have all skirmishing perks. Okay, let me know. Should I make Forest's group the skirmishing cab? And maybe, like, either uh, disband these guys or make them have a third melee cab? That, that's a potential opportunity there. Also, what do I need to do with career points? Should I... Should I go into economy, training? I probably should go into training. Should I go into reconnaissance more? I don't really know. I feel like such a noob when it comes to the new things. I'm just going to show off my armory. Maybe uh, gives you guys some input on things that I should do. So there's there's all the muskets you could posit here if you want. Um, and then for the skirmisher weapons. A bunch. We can buy some more scoped Whitworths, but they won't really be used until later. We have a bunch of weapons here. Nothing too too crazy, though. We can definitely go a little bit better on our melee cav. And then artillery, uh, so we can probably build a 24-pound howitzer battery, which is nice. And then Blakely's not quite yet. We'll just keep buying those. We'll probably keep buying 3-inch ordinances because they I really like them. We'll replace all the crappy weapons with 12 pound Napoleons because these other guns are terrible. And then, as I said, this is our barracks. So, if you guys have any input, I'm mostly talking to Gonzo and Pandacrop, but anybody else that plays this game, or, you know, even if you don't play the game and you have input, um, I'm always open to any input. Our army, not too battered from it, but not enough experience, really. I would have liked a lot more experience, but I mean, even though we're not getting stars, uh, the stats are going up, and that's that's also very important. So, I'm going to cut it here. I understand this is a very long episode. If you guys have made it this far, I greatly appreciate you. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube jazz. If you haven't checked out my Ultimate General American Revolution series, I'll put a link in the top right-hand corner to that. As always, guys, until next time.